Today I'm painting a sim from Zombicide Green Horde. Hey everybody, hope you're doing well. So today I'm painting a sim from Green Horde. He is primed in desert yellow from the Army Painter. And most of this miniature will be painted with uh, contrast colors from Citadel. And we're starting off with dark oat flesh to go right over his flesh. I decided not to add a base uh, to his flesh, like something like corpse pale or something like that, or cobalt skin. I want to see how it turned out. And you know what? I actually liked it. Now, usually contrast colors are only used on lighter uh, primers, but I want to see on this one. And some of the colors I wasn't too happy with, but it still turns out nice. Alright, so we're going to move on to an editor contrast color from Citadel Paints, Magos Purple. And this is going to be for his dressing, so uh, his shirt and stuff like that. And I know the artwork shows more of a grayish, but I saw a purple hue in it, so that's why I went with this color. If you feel like chatting with me, come visit me on Twitch TV at Easterling79, Friday nights, 9 p.m. Eastern Time. And I'm gaming there, so you can come chat and talk about miniatures, painting, board games, video games. Now we're going to move on to Pterodon Turquoise, which is a netter contrast, and this is going to be for the um, crude dress, I guess you're going to call it, and also for his uh, tunic. Now if you wish to join my Discord channel, it'll be in the description below. There I also put up polls of what I want to paint next after I'm done the Green Horde series. I also have some gaming news, board game news, all sorts of stuff. So don't forget to join that Discord if you're interested. This next uh, contrast paint is Flesh Terrors Red, and this is just for the little satchel belt thingy. Alright, now we're going to use some Snake Bite Leather, which is a netter contrast from Citadel Paints. Uh, this is going to be for his belts and some of the strappings on his sheath and stuff like that. Alright, now I'm going to use some Black Templar, which is another contrast from Citadel Paints. This is going to be for uh, his sheath, his sword sheath, as well as the hilts on his swords and his beard. Hey, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell to find out when new videos come out. And now we're going to move on to a uh, army painter paint, which is Shining Silver. It's a metallics paint, and of course this is for his dagger and his sword. Or I guess scimitar in a way. Alright, now I'm going to use some Citadel Shade Null Oil on all the parts that I left as that desert yellow. And this is just to uh, get into the recesses and uh, give it a little bit more uh, depth to the miniature. And then I'm going to highlight a bit of those uh, with some more of the desert yellow on top of it after. Now I'm going to highlight his tunic and the uh, crude dress with some elemental bolt from the army painter. This is a little bit brighter of a blue and I noticed that like the turquoise pterodon contrast was a little darker than I wanted. Sorry I went off camera there. Uh, it's a typical of me. <laughs> Alright so that is Asim all painted up. I'm going to do the base off camera and show a picture of what he looks like after that.
Thanks for watching and now go paint your miniatures and get them to the table.